Dow shows us shipping delays are already affecting a business in Summit County, and it could hit your wallet soon. Like many business owners across Northeast Ohio, Anita Hamid is struggling to keep her store afloat. The challenge initially came with masks and gloves. Within a month, month and a half, the price of gloves like tripled, quadrupled, then we couldn't get them. Now it's hospital beds, crutches and walkers. The shortage of supply still driving up inflation. Every time we get an order, it's like surcharges, like they're paying more for containers to come in and then they have to pass that cost on to somebody. Data from the Health Industry Distributors Association shows back in December, shipping containers hauling medical supplies were on a delay of up to 37 days because of congestion at the ports. Yet officials are still working to prioritize shipping containers with medical supplies. The domino effect is forcing Hamid to constantly find short term solutions. And the concern remains. Hamid worries some of her customers will skip out on supplies or be forced to pay more. You can't give stuff away for free. I mean, we just can't because I have employees. I have overhead and stuff to pay. Hamid and other medical companies now trying to contact Governor Mike DeWine's office, pushing for a plan, but so far, no response. She's encouraging others to keep trying. Tanisha Cordell, News 5.